Hello everyone. The last couple of months, the developers at Lichtfeld have been working on the next iteration for their Gaussian Splat training and editing software Lichtfeld Studio. And last week they have released version 0.3 of their main product. In this video, which is recorded on Christmas of 2025, we will give an overview of everything new and improved in that version. And there is a lot to be covered with some big news at the end, so stay tuned. To kick off, the biggest development was under the hood and very technical, the removal of a library that was called LibTorch. This library was very useful to kickstart the development of the software, but was more and more a limiting factor in terms of efficiency, memory management and performance. Next, and the most visible, is the vastly improved user interface. Where the previous version looked like a prototype software and was very hard to navigate in, the new version looks modern, polished and clean. The handling and performance of the viewer was greatly improved and we can now navigate our creations with the same controls as in other 3D and Gaussian splatting software. And if you don't like how the controls are, then the next feature is for you. The ability to customize the look and feel and the keyboard bindings and mouse behavior. For the interface, the software now has teams that can be customized. By default, there are two teams, a black one and a white one. And for the behavior, the default key bindings and related functions can be customized to match your specific preferences, even depending on the mode you are currently working in like dataset, exploring, training, or the next improvement, the editing mode. Yes, besides training your splats, Lichtfeld Studio now has introduced editing capabilities. You can move, rotate and scale splats, crop them to have only your subject, but also some more advanced features like brush selection, rectangle, lasso and polygon. And with all of these tools, you can make the selection, add selections, remove selections, and even create groups of selections. For more advanced selection, there are also two additional modes, orthographic view and depth view. In orthographic view, your splat will be viewed without depth deformations. And with depth editing, you can select splats that are only a certain distance away from your current view which is a great way to delete floaters. These selections are of course mainly used to clean up the splats that have been trained. But you can also get creative and start copying your selections or make entire duplicates of your splats. You can even bring in multiple splats in any of the popular formats and combine them in the scene to create new compositions and save those as an entirely new splat which transitions nicely in the next topic, exporting your splat. In addition to the normal .ply file, Lichtfeld Studio can now export your splat in SOG, SPZ and HTML, so you can easily share your creations directly from Lichtfeld Studio. That's about it for a general workflow. Besides these workflow improvements, there are also a number of other features that have been added. Checkpoints allow you to stop your training, save the training state and resume that training on a later moment. These checkpoints are also created on regular intervals so that when training is interrupted, you can resume the training from that checkpoint without losing valuable training time. The image information has been redesigned and now displays all common data directly in the image pop-up and it can also show a masking preview that display the images used for training with a masking overlay. A command line convert tool to convert Gaussian splats from one format to another, where also the GPU is used for accelerating the conversions. Mask support, isolate your subject or exclude certain parts of the image during training. It has three modes, segment, ignore and alpha consistent. Tiling, train large images without overflowing the VRAM of your GPU. The image source is split in smaller tiles in order to fit in VRAM, 
which creates extra room for even larger Gaussian splats to trade. You can display your splats in different views like point cloud, ring mode, center mode, and those modes are perfect for visualizing the Gaussians during editing. You can easily align with three point align tool. Click three points on the flat surface and the splat will be oriented so that these three points are aligned to the floor. MIP filter for an improved training and display of Gaussian splat. And you can adjust all training parameters through the GUI. Create your own training presets by exporting and importing them from Lichtfeld Studio. That was a lot and as promised we saved the best and most anticipated feature for last and that is you can now download a standalone version of Lichtfeld Studio. Yes, that means no more downloading source code and compiling. The binary is now available as a nightly build. So go to lichtfeld.io which has a link to the GitHub page and find the nightly build in the release section. That's it for this video. I'm sure that I have forgotten something as there was so many things that have been changed. It was hard to keep track of the new features. Also, the development is going so fast that by the time of this video is released, new features will already have made it again to Lichtfeld Studio. So if you spot something that was forgotten or is new, leave it in the comments so others can also be aware of. Thanks for your attention and see you in the next video.